Welcome to another Stuart the Pilot video helping you learn fast about flying and today is something a little bit different. As radio, student place out one India Tango request radio check and airfield information. The whole reason I started this channel was to help other pilots who are maybe similar position to me a few years ago being a student and instead of always having to pick up the phone and speak to your instructor when you have questions, being able to find something online that you might be able to relate to or help. So I'm gonna start a little how-to series. And the first thing will be three videos. It'll be how to start the engine, how to take off, and how to land. Now, big disclaimer, I'm not a flight instructor. Uh, these videos should be a basis that you can then start a conversation with your own flight instructor about. But there might be a few little tips and tricks that I do that I found help me that I wish I'd known when I first started. And again, that's why I'm making these videos to try and help you get a wee bit further on and not always have to pick up the phone to ask your flying instructor every little thing. Hope you enjoy. Let me know your feedback below. Welcome to Golf Bravo Oscar Yankee India. She is a PA-28 uh, Tayside Aviation aircraft. And uh, yeah, today we're going to start the aircraft. Three things to make sure we've got when we're, before we start the aircraft. The checklist, everything we do from the startup checks is, is all in here. Um, we follow the checklist rigidly to make sure we don't forget anything. Second thing, we just make sure everything's set up. We've got uh, my headphones plugged in, I've got my knee board strapped on, got my map, I've uh, got my glasses, everything I'm going to possibly need. And lastly, I've got my keys. Yes, aircraft do have keys as well. So we're just going to get straight into it. So first thing is we've done all our external checks. These are what we're moving on to our internal checks now. Hold the checklist nice and high so that as you're reading it, you've got a good peripheral vision to anyone else who's out there. So the first thing, seat adjusted and locked. Hatches, harnesses are all secure. Parking brake is on. Um, radios currently are off. Instruments, so we go through each individual instrument, make sure they're not cracked, everything looks to be reading correctly. We check our tachometer, ammeter and suction all reading correctly at the moment, which is obviously zero because there's no power. Flying controls, so one, two, three and four. Everything looks good. Trimmers, we move the trimmer full forward and full back. So we find that sticking point, which is there. And then we rotate it to the middle, which is, on this aircraft, there is a line. So I just move it towards the line. So the trimmer is full and free movement, it's set for takeoff flaps at the moment. We set check and symmetry, so we raise them one stage of flaps. Symmetry, two stages, and three full flaps, and lower again. In stages, cabin air controls over here, exercise them, and make sure they are off. We don't want any fumes coming into the, the cockpit when we start up. Throttle, full and free movement on the throttle, set a quarter inch. Mixture, fuel and free movement is set rich, so it's just making sure the right amount of fuel is going to be going to the engine, which at the moment we want a nice rich mixture because we're going to start it up. Throttle friction nut we check and is loose. Carburetor, fuel and free movement set cold, master switch goes on. As soon as we put the master switch on, the beacon goes on and we check all our fuses to make sure nothing is popped. Take right on in position, beacon is on. Fuel, pop the fuel pump on. Fuel pressure in the green, fuel pumping comes off again. Frame it as required. Clear prop. So as soon as we start up the aircraft, we make sure that the start of warning light goes out and that our oil pressure rises in the green range within 30 seconds. It usually happens straight away. Um, we have to make sure the start of warning light goes out uh, because we don't want the start to keep cranking when the engine is running and oil pressure to the green. Just a sign that everything is running correctly. And that is how to start an aircraft. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you aren't already. Any questions, just drop them in the comments box below and I'll see you on the next video. Fuse and fuse in the green. Full power. Airspeed alive. 